Put this on first of all. I'll be honest, this feels a bit kinky. <laughs> There used to be a guy in my village who used to wear one of these. Is this my task? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm back at school in science lessons. Oh, I, really, uh, I really need my reading goggles. In the lab, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. Frustrating as I just ate one in my dressing room. Uh, I love watermelon, I'm a big fan of it. But you know, I'm sure it was going to be ruined by this experience. If you're in any doubt about the tone of this show, now you know uh, there's five comedians being forced to eat as much watermelon as they can <laughs> <laughs> whilst wearing a white boiler suit. Josh, we're going to see you first. Are you a melon fan? Um, yeah. You know, fine, seven out of ten. It's quite a strange question, isn't what, what it? Could um, you... <laughs> Let's have a look at Josh's attempt. Bearing in mind, the task is to eat as much watermelon as you can in the time allowed. Well, OK, so I'm worried we're, I'm going to get in there and there's going to be a watermelon sitting on a table. So I need some kind of carving knife or knife. I mean, I don't know how you do better than that. <laughs> I'll show you afterwards, if you like. <laughs> you know, I was impressed that you used implements, but I, I, I didn't think there was a much sense of urgency there. I've, I've seen my grandmother eating melon, and it seemed a similar sort of pace. I've seen your grandmother You've eating melon. You've seen my melon. grandmother eating melon, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, she loved it! <laughs> you know, you were just nibbling I said, I quite it. like melon. There's the proof. <laughs> I thought I'd done well. I'll be honest with you, I think you've slowed down the footage. I wouldn't put it past you. No, you did all right. You ate, uh, in one minute, you ate 218 grams of watermelon. That's the equivalent of, sort of 10 mice. Can I imagine that? <laughs> like eating... That's pretty good! Yeah, it's good. It's all right. <laughs> Just to calm you down a little bit, any, any antagonism between you and I over this issue, it's, it's all scripted. Um... <laughs> <laughs> see the master, Frank Skinner. OK, here we go. Not so much scope for banter. <laughs> Before we get on to that amazing technique, I mean, there's a lot of ageist references to Frank being the oldest member of the panel. I want you to have a look at Frank in a white boiler suit because we're of the opinion that he looks 12 years of age. <laughs> Can I clear any melon up for you, sir? <laughs> Frank, such an impressive start. Yeah, well, I, I'd forgotten my watermelon scissors. The truth is, it had not occurred to me that it, it would be a bright idea to get a knife or anything like that. I was just going to... I was prepared to tangle with it from the off. My feeling is that Frank probably gobbled a lot more melon than Josh Whittaker. No, not at all, no. He ate um, 179 grams. That's the equivalent of nine mice or ten smaller mice. <laughs> but, but less. <laughs> less, just less. Well... Right. <laughs> Who's next? Let's see how Comity handled the melon. Oh. oh. I need a thing. I need some sort of hammer. Can I get a hammer? A knife? Can I go and get, I go and get it? I, I would. Oh, is there any of this? No. 36 seconds, Rasheen. Oh, God. <laughs> bigger one, a bigger one. <laughs> this, no, no, this jaw, this jaw. <laughs> 
I've always wanted to do this. It's such a shame. <laughs> I mean, I just grazed it. <laughs> oh. I've got so many questions. <laughs> I guess my first question is, you knew before you went into that room that the challenge was to eat as much melon as possible, and yet your reaction to seeing a melon on the table was... Oh! <laughs> oh, clever twist. I, I thought it was going to be pre-prepared melon. I didn't think I had to cut a watermelon. I thought it was going to be like a massive bowl of melon and just keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> How many seconds have passed before Roisin started to eat melon? Oh, 54 seconds. 54 <laughs> seconds. Uh, I don't want to be negative, but I have eaten that much melon by walking past a fruit stand. <laughs> <laughs> How much melon did Roisin Connolly eat? I've put it in Rolos. She ate one Rolo, nine grams. Lovely. <laughs> I know we're having fun, but this thing is funded by adverts, so we've got to stop for a while. So you see. Welcome back to Taskmaster. If you've just joined us, you've missed some comedians either eating or not eating a watermelon. <laughs> Who are we seeing next? We're going to see Ramesh and Tim together. Right. I've grouped them and you'll see why. If I throw up, would you weigh it? how far we've come from <laughs> Josh Widdicombe gently spooning melon into his mouth to two oh, psychopaths. Well, you threw it my, on the uh, floor. My, I mean, you have to eat that's, on the floor. that's my first question to you. There was clearly a table in front of you. Why did you throw it on the floor? When, well, I knew it wasn't going to be like a melon buffet. I, 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 knew, I knew it was going to be a whole watermelon, but I just didn't realise that a watermelon was that soft. Like, I thought, in my head, it was, like, rock hard. And then when I threw it, I was like, holy <laughs> that is... <laughs> that... That has gone everywhere. Like, I, it was a genuine surprise to me. I, d I just didn't... I just hadn't anticipated the watermelon was like that. I just... I just built it up in my head, like, so I was just... I'm gonna have to really smash into this. And I was like, oh, God, that's gone so bad. I've got an image of you of, uh, or you can eat buffet just kicking the shit out of everyone. <laughs> Tim, how'd you... I mean, well, really you, powerful you'll have, start. You'll have recognised the technique. Oh, I love the technique. It's your grandmother's technique. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, what, it's what she's involved. <laughs> she wrote, she wrote yeah. the book on it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, well, you know, it's a minute, it's a watermelon. It's got to be grandmother technique. Smash it Smash. and eat it. Can I just say, I, I genuinely um, thought I was going to die. Like, like <laughs> basically, I, when the whistle went, I, my throat was full of watermelon and then... <laughs> My my body just went, let's try and get that down, shall we? And, and then I started, like... But it was a weird situation, because I had this bit of watermelon in it my throat. It was quite a weird situation, <laughs> wasn't it? But it was... 
It was slightly <laughs> surreal. It was really big, and I kept trying to swallow, and my body made like I just went. <laughs> like, like it was, it was horrendous. My instinct is that Tim Key probably gobbled the most melon there because of the vomiting. I asked whether it counts if you vomit. Do you weigh the vomit? And you said no. That's why I didn't vomit. I think when the whistle goes, if the melon's still inside you, it counts. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> because I think I produced more melon than I ate. <laughs> <laughs> My instinct is that Keys won this. Yes, tell well, me otherwise. Um, Tim ate 302 grams of watermelon in one minute, and Ramesh ate 301 grams. Whoa! The way I measured it was scooping up and weighing what was left in the room compared to what was in the watermelon, so some of that had been in Ramesh at one point. Fine, so you scooped up Ramesh's vomit. <laughs> So, I mean, it's up to you. There's one gram difference, but also there was a bit, there's a bit of dodgy business with Tim. If you just want to have a look at this. Ah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Son of a... <laughs> I love melon. <laughs> How could you possibly, at the end of that task, go, do you know what I fancy? <laughs> Gobbled an extra bit of melon, which would mean he was the winner if we count that bit of melon. Yeah, so I didn't weigh that bit because it was in Tim. If you want to subtract nine from Tim's, it would put Rummish in the lead. That's up to you, though. What I find very difficult about it is I'm pretty sure that Tim winked at us as he left. <laughs> Did he wink at us? It's very hard to tell. If it was a wink, it was a bad wink. But um, we can have a look. If that's a wink, that's, that's such breathtaking arrogance from Kate. <laughs> I'm going to ask to let the audience decide. Give me a cheer if you think that was a wink. Yeah! I'm taking nine grams off you. <laughs> the winner is Ramesh Ranganathan, ladies and gentlemen. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>